everyone, welcome back to my DIY home with Liz. Today's video, you guys asked for it, so we're doing it. In my 100,000 subscriber giveaway video, I asked you guys what kind of videos do you wanna see on my channel? And I had an overwhelming amount of you say, I'd like to see a Dollar Tree beach slash nautical theme. So that's what we're doing today. The first project that we're going to be putting together is really simple, but I think it looks really elegant and nice, and you wouldn't know you got everything from Dollar Tree. So what I tried to do was pick three containers that were slightly round and in three varying sizes. I also got two things of nautical rope, and then I picked up three candles. I picked two of these like medium sized ones and then this smaller one came in a pack of four. What you're going to do to put these together is you're just going to place the candles into the glass containers. From there, you're going to take your nautical ribbon and you're gonna start wrapping it around your candle. Once you get it to where you think you have enough wrapped around, and I didn't want it to cover my candle, I wanted it to go a little bit lower than my candle, I'm just going to take my scissors and cut it off. And then you'll repeat those same steps for the other two candles. But I think these are super adorable and simple and would look so great in so many different homes. So this next project, I think maybe one of my favorites and to me looks like something that you could buy at like a high-end store. So what you need for this project is you're going to need three white frames. Dollar Tree is finally carrying white frames so we don't have to paint everything white. So that's exciting and these frames are 8x10. So you're also going to need seashells. I picked up two different bags and one of them was more of like a lighter color and then the other one had more multicolor. And then I wanted a third option and couldn't find anything at Dollar Tree so I ended up picking up these starfish at Hobby Lobby. They were $4.99 but I used my coupon on them so I got them a little bit cheaper. I also grabbed some scrapbook paper. This scrapbook paper is woven and kind of has a fabric look to it and it's just a light cream color. So you're going to remove the glass from all of your frames and then you're going to cut out your scrapbook paper by using that 8x10 sheet that comes in the frames. Just put it on top of your paper and cut around the scrapbook paper. Next, you're going to assemble all three frames, put the scrapbook paper in and the backing to the frames. Now that you have them all ready with the glass not on the front, you're going to do the fun part, which is arrange the seashells on the front. So in the middle frame, I'm putting on the starfish, and then on the other frames, I'm going to be putting the shells. And you can do this however you want. Once I had my seashells arranged the way that I thought they looked nice, then all I did was hot glue them down. And then here is the final project, you guys. Don't these look super high end and something that you would love to have in your home? All right, we got two more projects, but if you're loving these beach themed Dollar Tree DIYs, make sure to give me a thumbs up so I know to do more like it in the future. So Dollar Tree actually has quite a bit of nautical stuff out right now, but I didn't wanna just get 
you know, all of that because I figured you could pick that up and I wanted to show you guys something that you could create. But I did grab these three nautical jars and they have these cute little anchors already attached to them with twine. And I thought these were super adorable, but I thought I would dress them up just a little bit to make them a little bit more personalized. So I decided that I was going to paint the bottoms of them. So to do that, I just used some washi tape because I couldn't find my painter's tape. And I just put the tape around the bottom edge of my jars. Now to make all three look symmetrical, I just lined them up and as I taped, I just made sure that they were at the same level as I was flipping the jar around. Once I got the jars all taped, I'm gonna come in with some blue paint and this is just a basic acrylic paint that I have from Walmart and I'm gonna do two coats of the blue paint on the bottom half of my jars. Next, I will just remove the tape once they've had a chance to dry. And look at how cute these are sitting out in a beach themed display. Okay, the next project we're going to do is this really adorable bucket. So I picked up a blue bucket. It's kind of in the shape of a trash can at Dollar Tree, but I decided that I wanted it to be white. So I took it outside and gave it two coats of Rust-Oleum white spray paint. Next, once it had a chance to dry, I brought it inside and I'm gonna be using two things of the nautical rope that they sell at Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to start at the base of the bucket and I'm going to hot glue those two things of rope all the way up. Once I'm finished with the rope, I decided it would be really cute to add this seahorse. I found it on a sign, and all you have to do is just pry the seahorse off of this sign. Um, I just used some scissors and it came off fairly easy, and then I just had to make sure that none of the glue on the underside was showing. And then I just took some hot glue and hot glued it to my bucket. I think this bucket would be so adorable in a kid's room or in a bathroom. I just love the way it turned out. Okay, you guys, let me know below what you think of these beach themed DIYs. Which one of these projects was your favorite? Leave me a comment below. And if you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe. I post three to four DIY tutorials each week. And if you missed our last Dollar Tree DIY, I'm gonna link it right here. So just click right here so you can go watch that video next. And I'll talk to you in our next video. Bye.